Well, it's all about clean energy in Bozeman, and the ninth annual Montana Clean Energy Fair took over the Gallatin County Fairgrounds today. MTN's Gabby Cravat uh, was there and has more. The Montana Renewable Energy Association hosted the Montana Clean Energy Fair at the Gallatin County Fairgrounds today. The fair travels the state every year, and this year, for the second time, they stopped in Bozeman. The event brings hundreds from around the region to participate in workshops and demonstrations, ranging from topics including renewable energy policy, solar electricity and solar heating, batteries and energy storage, and more. This is our big annual event that brings together renewable energy enthusiasts, activists, uh, people involved in the industry, and uh, generally anybody who supports or wants to know more about renewable energy. The goal of the event is to promote education about renewable energy and bring together members of the community and local renewable energy businesses who are interested in taking the next step towards cleaner energy. Steve Landwermeyer of Techno Metal Post Yellowstone had helical piers on display at the fair. The steel metal posts can help build structures like decks, fences, and even homes without the use of concrete. With no digging and no need to transport or pour or let concrete cure, um, there's quite a bit of savings in terms of site work, excavation, and just the price and cost of getting concrete on a job site. The Montana Clean Energy Fair features local Montana-based renewable energy businesses talking about the latest in their work and renewable energy education. You can even take a seat in the state's only solar-powered car. The electric car show gave people a closer look inside some of the newest technology to hit the streets. The event also had children's activities. At one station, kids were building their own solar ovens to roast marshmallows. This fair is, is well-timed this year, I think, for sure. 2019 was a big year for renewable energy. Now, I think, is a really important time to learn more about what's going on, and uh, I think that's why we're seeing such a good turnout today. In Bozeman, Gabby Krevit, MTN News.